story of the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. The three little pigs grew so big that their mother said to them, you're too big to live here any longer. You must go and build houses for yourselves, but take care that the wolf does not catch you. The three little pigs set off. We will take care that the wolf does not catch us, they said. Soon they met a man who was carrying some straw. Please will you give me some straw, asked the first little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the first little pig some straw. Then the first little pig built himself a house of straw. He was very pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I should build a stronger house than yours, said the second little pig. I should build a stronger house than yours, said the third little pig. The second little pig and the third little pig went along the road. Soon they met a man who was carrying some sticks. Please can you give me some sticks, asked the second little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the second little pig some sticks. Then the second little pig built himself a house of sticks. It was stronger than the house of straw. The second little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the third little pig. The third little pig walked along the road by himself. Soon he met a man who was carrying some bricks. Please will you give me some bricks, asked the third little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the third little pig some bricks. Then the third little pig built himself a house of bricks. It took him a long time to build it. It was a very strong house. The third little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. The next day, the wolf came along the road. He came to the house of straw, which was built by the first little pig. When the first little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside the house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the first little pig. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. The house of straw fell down and the wolf ate up the first little pig. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road. He came to the house of sticks, which was built by the second little pig. When the second little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside the house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 said the second little pig. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. The house of sticks fell down and the wolf ate up the second little pig. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road. He came to the house of bricks, which the third little pig had built. When the third little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside the house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the third little pig. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but the house of bricks did not fall down. The wolf was very angry, but he pretended not to be. Little pig, he said, be ready at six o'clock in the morning and I'll take you to Farmer Smith's field. We shall find some nice turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig, but he was a clever pig. He knew that the wolf just wanted to eat him. So the next morning, the third little pig set off for Farmer Smith's field at five o'clock. He filled his basket with turnips, then he hurried home before six o'clock. At six o'clock, the wolf knocked on the little pig's door. Are you ready, little pig? He said. Oh, I I I've been to Farmer Smith's field, said the little pig. I filled my basket with turnips and now they're cooking for my dinner. The wolf was very angry. But he pretended not to be. Then the wolf said, be ready at five o'clock in the morning and I'll take you to Farmer Brown's apple tree. We'll pick some red apples. Very well, said the third little pig. Next morning, the third little pig set off at four o'clock. He found the apple tree. He was up the tree picking apples when the wolf came along. The little pig was very frightened, but he pretended not to be. He said, there are fine apples, Mr. Wolf. I'll throw you one. He threw down an apple, but it rolled away down the road. The wolf ran after it, then the little pig jumped down from the tree. He ran all the way home and shut the door quickly. The wolf was very angry, but he pretended not to be. He went to the little pig's house and knocked on the door. Little pig, he said, be ready at four o'clock this afternoon and I'll take you to the fair. We'll have some fun on the swings and roundabouts. 
Very well, said the little pig. At two o'clock, the little pig set off to the fair. He had great fun riding on the swings and the roundabouts and he bought himself a butter churn. It looked like a big barrel. As the little pig was going home, he saw the wolf coming up the hill. The little pig was very frightened, so he jumped inside the butter churn. The butter churn began to roll over and over down the hill. It rolled faster and faster. It knocked the wolf down. The wolf was so frightened that he ran away as quickly as he could. The little pig jumped out of his butter churn and carried it home. The next day, the wolf came to the little pig's door. He said, little pig, I did not go to the fair yesterday. A great big thing came rolling down the hill and knocked me over. Ha <laughs> ha, said the little pig. That was me inside that butter churn. When the wolf heard this, he was very very, very angry indeed. He said, little pig, I'm going to eat you up. I'm going to come down your chimney to get you. The little pig was very frightened, but he said nothing. He put a big pot of water on the fire to boil. The wolf climbed onto the roof and he began to climb down the chimney. The little pig took the lid from the pot. Into the pot fell the wolf with a big splash. That was the end of the wolf. And the third little pig lived happily ever after. The end.